Okay, so let's start exploring the world of charts. And by now you would have gotten used to entering data into Excel, but we want to turn this now into graphs and charts, taking our data and displaying it in a graphical way, making it a little easier to understand. So the first thing I'm going to do is just highlight the area that I want to turn into a chart um, or my data. And you'll see I'm taking the, the headings on top as well. And then I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to go over to charts. And there are a number of charts that I can use, but I'm going to go with the simplest. And that is just my 2D um, column chart. So let me just zoom out a little bit. And you can see where the chart comes in. Now I can click on it, left click, and I can move that over to wherever I need it to be. Whatever happens in this chart, this, all these lines here, is based on the data that we have over here. So have a look at this. Let's use hot dogs. We can see that the value is up to 24 girls. Well, let's go and change that. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change that to 50. Do you see what happens? Why? Because the results over here in this chart is based on the data over here. If this changes, the relevant change will be made to the chart. So that's the first thing. Then when we look at our chart, we notice a few things. Obviously, I've got a white background. I've got a chart title here on top, which I can change. I have my vertical axis. I have my horizontal axis. I've got labels for each one of these, and that's again based on the data. I've got my legend here at the bottom um, and then I can start to actually mess around with this a little bit, format it. So let's change the title to, and you can see all I'm doing is I'm just clicking inside and we're going to call it favorite lunches. Now when I click on my chart you'll also see these three icons pop up over here. The first one right at the bottom is my chart filter. So if I want to remove certain things from my chart, let's say I want to take burgers out um, and I apply that, you'll see how my chart changes. I'm just going to put it back. And then I have my chart styles. So this does not change the data, but you'll see as I move down, there are a number of different styles that I can use to show the exact same data. Right. Then on top, this is probably the most important section. These are my chart elements. And you'll see I have a number of them. Now watch what happens when I either tick them or untick them. At the moment, I've got my axes and you can see when I take it away, vertical axis, horizontal axis. But do I have titles for them? No, I don't. So let's go and put a tick in that and let's then go and edit this. And let's say um, number of responses and over here I'm going to name this um, lunch choices get that right right lunch choices okay so I've looked now at my axes and you can see where that is again my axis titles then my chart title I'll see where that is you'll see with these there's also a little arrow on the side um, where you can you know, even further go and format this or edit this. And then I've got data labels and you'll see what the data labels does. And I can pop those labels wherever I want them to be. Okay. I'm going to leave them there and I'm going to say, yeah, outside end is fine. Then my data table. So I can actually show the data table inside my chart, which I don't have to do. I'm going to take that out. And then I've got my grid lines. So these are the lines in the background. So you see what happens when I take that out. And these are known as the primary major horizontal lines. I can take that out. I can pop the vertical lines in. So these are all to do with my grid lines. And then my legend is this section here at the bottom. So if I take that out, it'll just remove that. What I can also do is when I click on my chart, you'll see up here on top, I've got chart tools. So I can um, modify the design of the chart like I've shown you before. I can even go and change the chart type. So let's say I'm not too happy with that. Um, I prefer to actually have a clustered bar chart. I can go and click on that 
and change it. It doesn't change the data. It only changes the type of chart we are using. Okay. I can also format it so I can look at changing various things like the style of the text, etc. For example, I can say shape full and I can, let's say, go and add a picture. And I'm just going to use anything here. And that actually brings in a background for my chart. Now, maybe based on that, I want to change the color of my text and say, well, I would like it in white so it can, you know, actually stand out. Um, this one I want in white as well. Um, maybe I want it with a little gradient. Maybe I want it with some texture, but I, I, I have all these options um, over here as well. And this title, I'm just making everything sort of stand out a little bit. But again, you can customize this as you need to. Then even the bars themselves, let's say I'm not too happy with those colors. I can go and I can actually change those colors. Now, when I want to change the color of these individual bars, I can do that. So if I click on the bars once, you'll see when I click once, it'll highlight all those in blue and I can go and change that color. However, if I click on the bars and I click on that particular one twice, it will highlight only that one. And let's say I want to change that one to purple and I want to change this one to blue. I can go and do that. But folks, this is basically just how we start playing around with charts in Excel.